Hey guys, my name is Rachel and welcome back to my channel. I make home videos here on YouTube and as you can tell by my bed, I like a lot of really light neutral colors and I have two very furry dogs that like to get in the mud. One of them's right here. And I've gotten some questions on Instagram about how I keep the fabrics in my house looking clean when my dogs are always on my couch and my bed. So in this video, I'm gonna share my best tips for keeping your fabrics as clean as possible. There are a lot of ways that I try to prevent stains from getting on my fabrics in the first place, and then a couple ways that I treat them if they do end up happening. So let's go through the prevention first. Tip number one is to get performance fabrics. We have a performance fabric couch and it wasn't expensive at all. It was like $800. And my dog Winston threw up on that couch literally within a day of getting it. It was neon yellow. And with one of my treatment tips that'll be at the end, I got it completely out. No one would ever know that he threw up there. Most furniture retailers offer performance fabrics. Some of them might, that just kind of is the standard for a lot of their products too. So read the description and make sure that you get a performance fabric. Tip number two is if you have a fabric already in your house that's not a performance fabric and you wanna protect it, then definitely use Scotchgard. It's super cheap, you can get it pretty much anywhere. And I sprayed the crap out of this bed when I first got it before I even put it together so that when the dogs jump on my bed, then their muddy little paws aren't gonna stain it. I also use Scotchgard on my dining chairs and my counter stools, and every stain has come out without a problem, so it's definitely, definitely worth it. Tip number three is not having a doggy door. When you have a doggy door, your dog can come in and out as they please with muddy paws. You need to be able to catch their muddy paws at the door before they come in. So I would never get a doggy door. I know some people love it, more power to you, but it's not happening here. Tip number four is if it's raining or it's kind of like wet outside, maybe this you had the sprinklers just go, then make sure you wipe their paws. I have a towel, that, like an old ratty towel that I keep by the door, especially when it rains, um, so that I can wipe their paws before they even come inside. So there's not a chance of them getting mud everywhere. Tip number five is another thing that I do when it's raining, which is cover my fabrics with blankets. So obviously it's much easier to wash a blanket than a couch. So what I'll do is I'll spread out my blanket onto my couch if it's really muddy and rainy out and I know that even with wiping their paws, there might still be some mud on them. Um, I also do that with our bed. I take this white blanket and I just lay it across the whole bed so that when they jump on the bed, it's getting on the blanket, which can easily be washed and not on the whole bed. Tip number five has more to do with fur than dirt, which is get your dogs groomed often and brush them often. So we aren't the best at doing this, but when we brush them, I mean, you can make a whole nother dog, I swear, with the amount of fur that comes off of them. And all that fur, of course, would be all over your furniture if you didn't brush them. So definitely brush your dogs as often as you are able to. My last two tips are about treatment. So if your dog just happens to get some mud on something or they throw up or they pee or something of that nature, then my favorite stain remover by far is Folex. This stuff is a miracle. I've used it on my rugs a million times. I've used it on our couch, on our dining chairs, everywhere. You just spray it on there and you basically watch it disappear and then you can pat up the extra kind of wet area afterwards. But it's absolutely amazing and pretty cheap. My very last tip is how I get fur off my fabrics without the vacuum. So even though I have a Dyson, I feel like it doesn't get fur, especially off of our dining chairs very easily. It's just, the fabric is just more like textured, I guess. I don't know, it just holds on to the fur a lot more. So the, the Dyson really does, doesn't remove the fur. You have to like go back and forth a thousand times. So a way easier way to get the fur off is using this 
Furminator. It's like $20. It's reusable and they come in two different sizes. This is the bigger version. Um, but if you want a small one for like smaller areas, then you can do that too. But this works so much better than my vacuum at getting the fur off of those kind of like hard to clean fabrics. I will have all the products that I mentioned linked down below. If you have any tips for how you keep your house clean with dogs, I would love to know. Put them down below and let us benefit from your wisdom. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.